when the user selects one of their polymer missions from our main grid here, we want to bring in a new detail view showing a nice big mission logo, plus description and information about the crew who took part in the mission. First two of those are straightforward. The last one takes some more thinking, so we've got to try and marry up two different JSON data pieces, our missions and our astronauts. Let's start nice and simple and we'll work our way up. Go ahead and make a new Swift UI view in Xcode. Call this thing mission view. Now initially, this thing's gonna only have one property, which is the mission we're gonna try and show on the screen, so we can show the uh, badge and description and more, but we'll add more to this thing later on. In terms of layout, we're gonna place in here a scrolling V stack with a resizable image for the mission badge. Then a text view description, and then we'll have something later on for the crew. But we're going to use a geometry reader, so we can read the size of the available screen space. This is important because we want to make our image patch take up a proportional amount of the screen space, not all of it. With some trial and error, I found somewhere between 50 and 70% width of the screen looks about right, but by all means, you can experiment and see what you think. Anyway, let's go ahead and fill in mission view now. We'll say it has a mission property. Then in the body, there is a geometry reader with the geometry proxy coming in here. Then we have our scroll view, then a VStack of content, our mission image first, with resizable, so it will become the size we ask it to be. Always scale to fit so it doesn't become warped. And then we'll say it has a frame, oops, our next line, frame with the max width of our geometry size width multiplied by 0.6. So 60% of the available screen width, plus a little padding on top. That's our mission image. Well, below that, we'll add another V stack, this time with the alignment of leading. Inside there is the text saying mission highlights and a nice chunky font, I'll say title bold. Then a little padding below, like so. And after that will be our text mission description. This inner V stack containing our text, that is to stay away from the edges of the screen. So I'll say it has padding horizontally. And the outer V stack, the one directly a child of the scroll view, needs to have some padding at the bottom so it can scroll smoothly away from the bottom where we have the home indicator and other things in iOS. For the uh, scroll view or the joint reader, that's our outermost view. We can add our modifiers there. So I'll say we have a navigation title of mission.display name. Uh, then below that, we'll say there is a uh, navigation bar title display mode of dot inline. It's a second screen, so we don't want big titles anymore. And a background of our dark background color. Let's see if that previews correctly in our little canvas area. It's saying no, I made a typo somewhere, I guess. Let's find out. Uh, typos down here. Yes, of course, in our previews. <laughs> we'll fix that in a second. Um, I wanna mention briefly though first that we have an outer V stack and an inner V stack, and that's intentional because this inner one has a leading alignment. So left and left to right language like English, whereas the outer one has no alignment, so it'll default to being in the center. That makes sense for our mission image. But this text in here, I want to be leading aligned. And so only that bit will be leading aligned, hence a VStack inside a VStack. Anyway, our code no longer builds, which makes sense, because down here we've got to provide a mission parameter for our mission view. Uh, helpfully, our bundle extensions available here as well. It's an extension that's available everywhere. We can just go ahead and load them all for preview purposes. Uh, static let missions be an array of mission. And then say inside here, call our bundle dot main dot decode extension decoding missions dot JSON. And for the mission view, I'll say, just go ahead and load mission uh, of missions zero. Load the first one. Now we do need to say here by hand to prefer dark mode dot dark 
in the preview. Because this thing is being shown from the previous view, it understands it'll be in dark mode when it's shown from the previous view, but the preview here does not know that. It's seeing in isolation, and so we've got to force the dark scheme here as well. But that's our basic layout to start with, and it looks all right, I think. If you look, it's okay. The next part is trickier though. We want at the end of the description to show who took part in the mission, plus their role and their picture, and that takes more thinking. So let's tackle that next. 